In the previous videos, we looked at second order linear homogeneous ODEs. You may have seen some applications of these ODEs, such as a spring mass system or a spring mass damper system. Now what would happen if we applied another external force to the spring mass damper system? What would happen is that we would obtain a non-homogeneous equation, which would not be amenable to the previous solution methods. We will learn how to solve such problems in this section with the help of the method of variation of parameters. The standard form for the second order linear non-homogeneous ODE is given here. The principle is that we seek a general solution of the form given here, where the general solution y is equal to some solution yh plus another solution yp, where yh is called the complementary solution. The complementary solution is the solution for the associated homogeneous ODE. That is, if we set the ODE with the right-hand side r of x equals to zero. The solution yp is called the particular solution. And what we do is that we use the two fundamental solutions, y1 and y2, for the associated homogeneous ODE and what we do is we vary the parameters by seeking two unknown functions, u1 and u2, by which we multiply y1 and y2. So our job is then to determine what these functions u1 and u2 are. Since we have two unknowns, we will need two equations. The first will be obtained by requiring that yp satisfies the non-homogeneous ODE. In order to do this, we'll likely need some derivatives. So the first derivative of yp will be equal to yp prime, and using the product rule, we will have u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 plus u1 y1 prime plus u2 y2 prime. We will pause here and present a condition that must be satisfied by u1 and u2. Now at this point u1 and u2 are completely arbitrary functions. So what we'll do is we'll impose the condition that u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 is equal to 0. Again, we can do this because u1 and u2 are still unknown functions, and they are arbitrary at this point. What we notice is that this condition is, in fact, the first bracketed um, two terms in our first derivative for yp. So this simplifies our yp prime first derivative as u1 y1 prime plus u2 y2 prime. So as we will be substituting this proposed solution yp into the second order ODE, we will need the second derivative for yp. Again, using the product rule, we will have u1 prime y1 prime plus u1 y1 double prime plus u2 prime y2 prime plus u2 y2 double prime. We'll call the original standard form of the ODE as equation 1. And we will substitute yp, yp prime, and yp double prime into equation 1. And we'll do some rearranging.
Doing this gives us the following equation. Having grouped the terms, we can take note of a few things. So note these two brackets over here. We, know that the, we note that these are in the form of our second order ODE in standard form, and we know that Y1 and Y2 are fundamental solutions to the homogeneous ODE. Therefore, these two brackets will be equal to zero. This reduces our equation to u1 y1 prime plus u2 prime y2 prime is equal to r of x. Now recall, we need two equations in order to solve for u1 and u2. The second equation we're going to use is this one over here. So this gives us u1 prime y1 plus u2 prime y2 is equal to zero. Solving this set of equations gives us u1 prime is equal to the negative of y2 r of x divided by y1 y2 prime minus y1 prime y2. And we have u2 prime is equal to y1 r of x y1 y2 prime minus y1 prime y2. I would encourage you to check this for yourself as well. So the functions u1 and u2 themselves are obtained by integrating these two equations for u1 prime and u2 prime. So what we have, we have u1 is equal to the negative of the integral of y2 r of x. And now notice in the denominator of both that y1 y2 prime minus y1 prime y2 is just the wrong skin of the two functions y1 and y2. So we can actually just write this as the wrong skin of y1 y2. And this is our solution for the two parameters, u1 and u2, that we will use to find the particular solution. So as a reminder, our general solution is equal to yh plus yp which will be equal to c1 y1 plus c2 y2 plus u1 y1 plus u2 y2 where u1 comes from this equation and u2 comes from here and this was this will allow us to solve a second order linear non-homogeneous ordinary differential equation